Hi and welcome to Longevity's Learning Lab. Today we're going to talk about stick welding basics. Uh, the process, SMAW, shielded metal arc welding. So metal is shield. So it's taking a, a metal rod and creating an arc and fusing two pieces together. Uh, we're going to use the Stick Weld 200 here from Longevity. A very simple, basic 220 uh, direct current machine. So I'm going to describe what happens when current is coming through the electrode. This is essentially uh, an, a negative electrode and this is a positive electrode. So you create a closed circuit when you touch it and then when you pull, when you pull the, the stick rod away from the metal you create a drawn arc. Now this is uh, creating a plasma environment where this rod is melting, fusing into both sides and you control the arc by how high or low you control the rod. So we're creating an arc and now we're melting and consuming this rod. The flux is protecting the puddle as we go. So you have these two pieces of metal and they're separate but this is becoming molten in a plasma state because of the arc that you've created and now it's tying these two pieces together by your control of the molten puddle as it comes down uh, the weld line here. So you're melting into the plate on the, the upper plate and the lower plate and fusing these two together. Now the amperage the constant current through this through the electrode is controlled by the machine. You control the amperage and set it up to what amperage you, you want. But the problems you run into are the the arc that you've created, this is called long arcing, and you've created a distance between the 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 a negative electrode and the positive electrode and you're up here, you're long arcing and the arc goes out or or the weld just dies because you've drawn too far away and, the, and it can't connect the current anymore. Short arcing is when you're too close and you freeze the rod in the molten state and you've you've stuck the rod and, and it's it, the weld has gone out and frozen. So there's short arcing here, long arcing, and what we want is to just float the, the electrode at a constant distance as it's consumed and drawn into the weld. So SMAW, shielded metal arc welding, or manual metal arc, is where you are in control of this electrode and that's why it's, uh, it takes a while to learn this process. So this is cold, this is hot, uh, you're going to change the current by how far the electrode is away or how close it is to the metal. Also the angle that you're welding at is going to determine how the rod is uh, sitting inside the puddle. Here, here, here. So. The manual control is all in you and being able to see what, what uh, creates the proper weld that you're looking for. We talked about the process a little bit, how you're in control of the weld. So what can be welded with this? Well, you can weld uh, carbon steel, cast iron, ductile iron, uh, copper, uh, sometimes aluminum, uh, nickel. There's some uh, many, many, many applications uh, that you can weld with, but you're going to need the, the proper filler metal or the corresponding metal that is similar to whatever it is you're welding. This process has been around for a long time. In 1890, a guy named C.L. Coffin invented a, an arc machine which when you drew an electrode away from the metal, it created an arc and it deposited electrode metal into base metal. He patented that machine. In 1900, they came out with flux, they, they just used bare wire back then. They, in 1900, they came out with a flux coating. They weren't very good, but in, in 100 years, they've gotten a lot better at, at the flux coating or the protective coating around the outside of the rod. Stick welding is the dominant form of welding in the world. Because of its simplicity, the machines were a little bit bigger, but now they're these tiny little things. Simplicity of, of the machine and ease of operation. You can learn how to stick weld in, in an afternoon and then weld anything in the any carbon steel uh, in the world together. So simplicity and ease make it, uh, and, and it's cost effective, make it the dominant welding of the world. 
Something you're going to need to know about the machine is how to set it up. We have a, a positive side and a negative side. So this is our negative lead, black. It's going to come through our ground clamp and we're going to attach it to the work piece. So this is going to be our negative side, the work piece. And this is going to be our positive side coming out of the positive lead. It'll come into the stinger. So now the stinger will come uh, positive to the electrode. So we have negative and positive to create our arc. All right, I'm going to set up the machine in DC direct current electrode positive. So this is our ground clamp. So this is going negative. And this is our electrode, our stinger. This is going positive. So now we have direct current electrode positive. All right, so the current comes from negative to positive. It's just the way the current ions always flow from negative to positive. So that means the heat is concentrated in the plate and coming up and melting the rod. That's where the, the energy and the ions are coming from the plate to the electrode. So we're melting into the plate with better penetration in DCEP. All right, so I'm going to change this, and now our electrode, our electrode here, our stinger, is now negative. So this is DC direct current electrode negative. So it's DC EN, and now it, we're, this is negative. So the current, the power is flowing from negative to positive, so this is where the heat is being concentrated, so we're not melting into the plate as deeply as we were in the other way. This is straight polarity. The other DCEP is actually called reverse polarity because the polarity is coming from the plate to the electrode. This is straight polarity from the uh, electrode to the plate. We talked about the process a little bit, where it came from, polarity, how to control the puddle. Uh, I hope you give this a try. You will stick rods, you'll short arc. That's the most common thing that happens to uh, welding, uh, stick welding when you begin it. You'll, you'll long arc it and the arc will just go out. You'll, you'll short arc it and stick rods to the plate. Uh, don't be afraid to just pull it off and, and continue. Keep on welding. Keep trying to weld. Uh, the process is the most dominant in the world. It's relatively easy. Little machines like this make it simple to weld in your garage. You can fix your neighbor's lawnmower. You can fix uh, anything around the house. So, like I said, the most dominant form of welding in the world. I hope you give it a try. Uh, and don't give up. It, it gets easy. You learn how to control the puddle. Um, by manipulation of the rods, and it's all in your control. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching today at Longevity's Learning Lab. Uh, I hope you learned something.